Good afternoon and welcome to Boston Asian Radio and TV English Daily News Today. I am your host, Lei. Here's a look at the top stories making headlines today. Good afternoon and welcome to Boston Asian Radio and TV English Daily News Today. I am your host, Lei. Here's a look at the top stories making headlines today. Faculty member killed in campus shooting at UNC Chapel Hill. City Councilor Tanya Fernandez Anderson reportedly robbed near Mass and Cass. Hundreds of juveniles fight outside two Boston movie theaters, 13 arrested. One killed, one injured in crash on I-95 in North, Attleboro, driver arrested. Sumner Tunnel reopening, what to know and when it will be closed next. Faculty member killed in campus shooting at UNC Chapel Hill. In a tragic incident that has sent shockwaves through the academic community, a faculty member was fatally shot on the campus of UNC Chapel Hill. The university community is reeling from the loss as investigations into the shooting are underway. The identity of the faculty member and the circumstances surrounding the shooting remain undisclosed. The incident has ignited urgent discussions about campus safety and gun violence prevention measures. As the UNC Chapel Hill community mourns the loss of a valued member, there is a renewed focus on addressing the broader issue of gun violence within educational institutions. The tragic event underscores the need for heightened security measures and policies that ensure the safety of students, faculty, and staff on campus. City Councilor Tanya Fernandez Anderson reportedly robbed near Mass and Cass. Boston City Councilor Tanya Fernandez Anderson was reportedly robbed in the vicinity of Mass and Cass. The incident has drawn attention to the ongoing concerns about safety and crime in the area. Details of the robbery are still emerging, and it remains unclear if Anderson was specifically targeted. This incident underscores the challenges faced by residents and officials in addressing safety issues near the Mass and Cass intersection. As efforts to address homelessness and substance use continue, concerns about crime and security persist. The incident serves as a reminder of the complex urban issues that require collaborative solutions to ensure the well-being of both the community and public figures like Councillor Anderson. Hundreds of juveniles fight outside two Boston movie theaters, 13 arrested. 13 juveniles have been arrested following a series of fights that erupted outside Boston movie theaters. The altercations have highlighted concerns about public safety and the need for increased security measures. Details about the incidents, including the causes of the fights, remain under investigation. The arrests underscore the challenges faced by law enforcement in maintaining order in crowded public spaces. As the incidents spark conversations about youth behavior and safety, the focus turns to preventing such confrontations in the future. These events serve as a reminder of the importance of community and law enforcement collaboration to ensure that public spaces remain safe and welcoming for all residents and visitors. One killed, one injured in crash on I-95 in North Attleboro, driver arrested. A fatal crash on I-95 in North Attleboro has left one person dead and another injured. The incident resulted in the arrest of the driver responsible. Details about the crash, including the circumstances leading to the collision, are currently under investigation. The tragic event highlights the potential dangers of road travel and the need for adherence to traffic regulations. As authorities work to piece together the events that transpired, the incident serves as a stark reminder of the importance of safe driving practices and the consequences of reckless behavior on the road. The community mourns the loss of one life while hoping for a full recovery for the injured individual. Sumner Tunnel Reopening – What to Know and When It Will Be Closed Next The Sumner Tunnel in Boston is set to reopen following its temporary closure for restoration work. While the reopening is welcome news for commuters, future closures are on the horizon as the restoration project continues. The restoration efforts aim to enhance the tunnel's infrastructure and improve the overall commuting experience. As the Sumner Tunnel plays a vital role in Boston's transportation network, the closures raise discussions about alternative routes and their impact on traffic flow. The ongoing restoration underscores the city's commitment to maintaining its critical transportation infrastructure. Commuters and city officials alike are navigating the balance between ensuring safety and minimizing disruptions during the restoration process. Stay tuned for more updates on Boston News as it develops. Stay tuned for more updates on Boston News as it develops.